As Washington puts the wraps on the debt debate, tonight's commentator has some thoughts on the budget negotiations still to come. Here's conservative David Keating, executive director of the Club for Growth. Remember the silent movie scene where the dastardly whiplash character ties the lady to the railroad tracks? Well, that reminds me of the budget negotiations. A debt disaster is speeding down the track, yet our politicians come up with a plan to slow the train a few miles per hour. We're still heading for disaster. If they stick to the plan, and they probably won't, the debt will still soar by nearly 50% in 10 years. Next year's budget will be cut by less than 1%. After that, discretionary spending, which is a fraction of the budget, will rise by nearly $200 billion by 2021. Now, only in Washington could spending more money be called a cut. Washington can and must do better. It can start by working to grow the economy, passing tax reform that cuts tax rates, cutting red tape, and passing trade deals. The faster we create jobs, the more tax revenue comes in, and less money will be spent on things like unemployment benefits. Our leaders must also reform entitlements, Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, that threaten national bankruptcy. And they've got to cut non-essential spending. There's also a bias for more spending and debt, so it's time to pass a constitutional amendment to balance the budget. It works in the states, and it can work in Washington, too. Let's hope the voters solve the problem next year because we're running out of time. I'm David Keating.